Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so we have a new update and it's been a little while since I've done a video and I usually always cover the update so I might as well do it. So we got a whole bunch of stuff that was added. I, not a large amount but I, I am pretty excited about all this because not only has a lot of other things changed which I will be covering a little bit here and there at least in this video we now have a whole host of new fuel tanks and uh, just amazing stuff so this was originally our biggest fuel tank that we could have amazing we now have like one that's I, I don't even know what size that is considered to be. Hold on, let me try that. I, I haven't even tried this yet. I could pretty much wrap eight of these around there. That's amazing. So, we'll switch back over here. Let's see. And then we got a little bit of a bigger tank. Now, I will say the one thing that these modules have a very striking resemblance to kind of the Apollo-style rockets and stuff. We do have... I believe this is the engine... Yes, that is. Uh, we have an engine cluster now, which is four engines. And I don't even know what the ISP is on this. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and then the thrust. It seems like these parts are a little overpowered, in my opinion. But I, I don't know. I do know that they changed a few things here and there when it comes down to the joints and how the joints actually work now. And they actually... You can build a rocket without attaching a billion struts to it, so that's amazing. In in my book, we do have a new solid rocket booster. Now, the one thing I do have a complaint about, and this is just like minor nitpicking, um, when it comes down to this whole propulsion fuel tank mixture tab, it's getting to that point now where I would almost say that it would be a little bit better to have the engines in one tab and the fuel tanks in another tab or possibly just arrange them to where you know one of one side is all engines or like one you know all the engines are together and then all the tanks are together you know they're all separated it, it would just make sense to me and then you know at the very end would be like these plane parts which only have fuel and no oxidizer just something, and then, you know, the RCS tanks, and everything's just kind of strewn into this one tab, which the only one that I really think is all together, I believe, is the RCS tanks. Yeah, they, they're all pretty much together in one tab, and I, I don't know, I get a little nitpicky when it comes to that, as far as how the parts are all set up. So we have our other major engine, I, I think, oh yeah, I just put one up here, and this one is, I, I think about two times more than a mainsail roughly a little under two times the amount of, as a mainsail this would be more than two, two times here so the parts are looking pretty awesome I don't think there was anything else added as far as the structural I don't oh yeah there is a few pieces in structural there is this part here which is kind of like a fairing ish type piece and another fairing ish type piece and then this is just a very, very massive decoupler. Um, aerodynamic, I don't think, is anything. We did get our launch escape system, the nose cone, the Apollo-style nose cone. And we also do have the advanced grabbing unit, which for, for those of you who have been even paying attention lately, I mean, this is all for the asteroid grabbing and attaching yourself to an asteroid and all that stuff which I have an actual awesome idea and I'm going to test to see if it works here eventually and uh, yeah so that's pretty much as far as all the parts that we got I mean a lot of things have changed there are some new things and a lot of not so new things but hey it's amazing we got new parts and actually new features to the game so this is pretty amazing so anyways, I'm going to kind of just build a little test rocket here, and let's see if we can get this thing off the ground. Now, I was messing around a little bit with some of this stuff. It It's a little bit of a learning curve as far as building is concerned. The one thing I will note, and I forgot to even mention, is if you look, there's like kind of a square piece here. Now, I don't have my flags actually loaded because I'm just lazy like that, but... uh. 
let's see where is it there's one somewhere on this piece yeah there it is right there you can see that open spot if you were to have a flag loaded which I just am lazy and I haven't it will actually show your flag on the rocket part but yeah let's get this thing off the ground so these engines sound completely different they support all kinds of different functions and the one thing I will n kind of note right now the only struts I have on this entire part is basically just these two to hold the top end basically from kind of bouncing into these tanks or anything while we're flying and that's about it now I don't really think this thing is going to get off the ground or at least into orbit I'm pretty sure it probably has the capability of doing so but I just went a little overboard with the amount of fuel and everything else just because I wanted to see and yeah that, that's, that's where I'll leave that I should have put a lot more engines on this and a little bit more thought into it so yeah I mean there really isn't too much as far as the other mechanics of the game you can see that basically this is not really that jittery or anything that's the one thing that I really didn't like about this game was the amount of jitteriness you would get right off of launch and my modded series I actually have that same kind of it, it was a mod at the time uh, I have that installed but I'm probably gonna remove it now that you can build something like at least this big and you have little to no problems as far as the joints and everything else so it, it's definitely looking pretty awesome and I'm really happy that a lot of things did get changed so let's just kinda slow this down here a little bit I'm not really looking to take this thing off too far, but we'll, we'll see what we can get. Now, it, it has pretty good control, too. I will say that. It, the control is actually really good. And let's see if they changed... No, the, well, the exhaust is a little bit different compared to the other rockets, but um, it's pretty much the same. It kind of ends at a certain point. A lot of people want the exhaust to be there all the way from the beginning of the launch we'll decouple these two and hopefully nothing bad happens now this thing isn't really having very much problems with control the one thing i will say is the new engine will definitely come in handy as far as some of my launches you'll be able to launch a i'm pretty sure i'm going to redesign my initial vehicle that i have for launching and kind of switch it over to this i'm not sure if i'm going to use it for all applications though so we'll see as time goes on but yeah so anyways guys um there's not really too much else of features i think i'm going to go ahead and take a look so yeah the other thing that i think is a little bit noteworthy of mentioning is the fact that you can now speed up time during like it just being at the you know the quote unquote like splash menu kind of thing and you know figuring out what you're going to do you can now actually you know fast forward or whatever you want to call it speed up time and also there's been a few changes here and there in the tracking station which I can show you guys uh, there are space objects and unknown and I'll show you guys a few of these space objects that I have found already. Well, not really found, but you can see there is a few objects around here. We'll cover a little bit more of that in my next video or, you know, whatever. Um, basically, I might do the asteroid capture mission. Otherwise, I'll do an asteroid capture in the, my sandbox game and I have some plans with this asteroid capture feature the one thing I am a little bit unsure about is whether or not they're all cookie cutter same asteroids or if they're all different in certain ways and different sizes and shapes but they made a few different changes to you know basically all of these buttons and stuff from what I've heard and read but most of it has kind of been behind the scenes, optimizations, a few things here and there and everything else. But yeah, so I, I'm pretty freaking happy with the way everything has been. And oh my god, I was looking at this, I'm like, is there a new planet? It, this looks different to me for some reason, I don't know why, but it does. So anyways guys, if you like what you see here, subscribe, there's always more to come. To all you new people, welcome. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.